Now fly selection is a very important part of fly fishing, but it also can be quite daunting when you're just getting into fly fishing. There literally is thousands of different patterns and to know when and when to use those can be a little bit uh, complicated at times. But if we keep it simple at the start, put flies into three categories. We've got a dry fly, so something that floats. You've got a wet fly, and that might be a nymph, so it lives under the surface. And a streamer pattern, that might be something that looks like a yabby or a minnow. They're your three types of, of uh, flies that you're gonna use throughout your, your time there. And I probably use the same six flies throughout the world in fresh water. I'd start off with, I'll have a rubber-legged royal stimulator. That is one of my go-to flies for things eating uh, grasshoppers, big caddis, and just something on the surface. A blue blowfly is one of the best patterns you can use, particularly in New Zealand, but it works incredibly well on our uh, Australian rivers as well. A dad's favourite parachute, that's the ideal fly to imitate a mayfly and a dry fly. A spent spinner, a Hubert's Red, is absolutely gold on a lot of the rivers and lakes throughout the world. I have a Hubert's Nymph, and that's in a tungsten uh, bead head, and that gets it right down near the bottom, and the fish just love it. And when I'm working bigger areas like lakes, I use a Magoo. I think it's absolutely fantastic, and the fish just love it. So limit your selection to what's going to be working, get your favourites, and they're going to be successful.